This week on Split Screen, Mainers, you know, Meredith, Jeff, and Lori, the popular trio who make up the Q Morning Show, dishes about life on and off the airwaves. And he produces a TV show about Maine, starring Mainers, and it is a ratings hit. We'll introduce you to the executive producer of Northwoods Law, Devin Platt, a Mainer you should know. Welcome to Split Screen, I'm Shannon Moss. For more than a decade, Mainers have been waking up to Meredith Manning, Jeff Parsons, and Lori Vornis, the popular morning show hosts of Q97.9. They are undeniably authentic, funny, and have a knack for seizing the moment. I don't get the cranberry sauce. You can have the cranberry sauce. No, 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 you just, No, no, he's got I a made. big job. Are you guys already rolling? Of course they are. Of course they are. All right, so is this something you guys do, uh, you know, all the time? Hanging out, cooking Thanksgiving dinner together? Never. Let me, let me see. Yeah, first time ever that this is happening. We take it as a day to avoid each other, usually. <laughs> so, you know, because we're together so often. Exactly. What's, how, long is you, how long have you guys gross, gross spent together? How long has it been? God. Um, we're working on 12 years now. We're, we're going into our 12th year together. So they say after seven years in a regular relationship, you're good, right? That's right. So I guess it means that we're, we're here in for the long haul. So what is it like working together? I mean, it seems like you, I know you guys have very different personalities, but you... Yeah, <laughs> yes to say the least. <laughs> but you mesh so well. I mean, you're the hottest radio show, you know, hit radio show out there. You know why? Why? Because we would never do this on a regular basis. So <laughs> we... We have like, we're all so different in our lives, are so different that it just sort of works. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> There's something else we don't normally do, apparently. Oh, okay, all right, so they've got stuff shoved in every hole of this turkey. Yeah, you have to take the innards out of the turkey. I My know, first they, turkey I ever everywhere. cooked, I had the innards still in it. Oh, so no. embarrassing. Oh. Yeah, but I, to elaborate on that, I would have to agree. You know, we're just normal, everyday people that somehow wound up in a job where we get to talk every day to people. And, you know, we are all totally different, completely different. But for some reason, it just sort of works. I Honestly, like the way and you we started no that idea. with the, the normal, everyday people. I don't think that well, a good Well, that's because normal, applies. everyday people are weird. Yeah. We well, all okay. are, mm, you know. Maybe. I need a spoon. Lori spoon. Oh, good job, oh, Jen. Oh, no, oh, you know your way around the kitchen. Yeah. That was pretty good. <laughs> So what is it like to be an open book? Because all of you guys are on the radio, right? There's not much people don't know about what goes on. Nowadays, yeah, absolutely. I don't know. Are you guys pretty much yourselves on the air? Or are oh, there yeah. elements that people don't I'm really know I'm just as grumpy you? at home as I am on the air. <laughs> absolutely. Not different at all. It's true. I think it's great. I mean, I think that's why people like us so much is because they think they they feel like they know us, like we're friends of theirs. Yeah, that's the weirdest part when someone comes up to you and they say something like, hey, I do the same thing. I did that once too. And I remember when you did this and you'll be like, I don't remember what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, you know what, it's the best job in the whole wide world. I, I, my, you know, parents wish I was a secretary, but you know, um, I, it's the only job where I get to be me, a giant goofball, and it's okay. You know what I mean? And get paid for and it. And get paid for it. Even better. My cool life. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any subject that's taboo, though? Do you feel like there's something that you, you know, Not have for me. Say, I'm the one with no filter. You're the one so. with no filter. <laughs> Right. Yeah, Mer two, Meredith's the one that has no filter, that's for sure. These two are a little more classy than I am. Um, just, I'm not classy by any stretch of the imagination, but thank you. Uh, <laughs> but you'll take the compliment. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, definitely. <laughs> What's I, you know, gosh, I guess, you know, if you get super personal, you know, because I have a family and, you know, I don't want to get too... Right. You gotta, revealing. You got to keep some things. You got to. You got to keep some things. I have a feeling yeah. family, but I don't care. I don't <laughs> get revealing. But that's good. So you're the one without the filter. You're the grumpy, the geek, right? You I'm, like the, I'm the geek. I like all the things like technology and video games, and I talk about things that these two have absolutely no clue about, and they tend to talk about girl things that I have no clue about. So it all evens out in the end. I don't probably want to know about either. I don't. Right? I have no desire to a know lot about of that times stuff. That's the case. <laughs> and are you like the glue that holds it all together? Uh, yeah, they call me Castro. 
Apparently I'm bossy. Apparently. Meredith, don't turn that so high. <laughs> <laughs> see? Did you see how I jumped to turn it down? Yeah. I'm totally kidding. Or the fatigues. <laughs> <laughs> Meredith! I have told you many, many times. <laughs> All right, so is there anything that people don't know about you guys? Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> that you can share with us, that's PG-13. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm actually, no kidding, you wouldn't know it, but I'm actually pretty shy. In, like, social situations, I'm kind of a shy person. Really? Yeah. Aww. Me too. Oh, Lori. You know what's you funny? Are too? Is that, yeah. yeah? I, f I, I feel much better talking on stage to a crowd of a bunch of people than one on one with somebody. Really? Not me. Yeah. I just, I don't know what it is, but socially, I'm awkward. It's you probably the awesome. nerd in me. And, but, but put me on stage or put me in front of a camera, and I'm great. But that's interesting, Jeff, because that's usually such the opposite for people. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh. The yeah. panic people feel when they're in front of all these people, and that doesn't bother you no, at all? No, not at all. Not at, at all. Be is. Because they're, they're there, I'm here, and we're not. I'm not up close and personal, you know. I don't have to like. Even though they're all staring at you like yeah. this. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like I'm in the personality mode at that point, and okay. as opposed to I've got to be personal, you know. It's right. Just, I have a harder time that way. Huh. Yeah. All right. Mary? I'm fine with you though. You're good. Oh well, thanks. Thanks. Because <laughs> we've been we've known each other for a while. There you go. So. And Mary, you didn't tell me what was the one thing people don't know about you. Um, because you are, you know, you do have no filter. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that sometimes I get really lonely. Yeah, like I have all these people around me that I really care about and I love and everything, but I feel like sometimes I'm just not understood. <laughs> oh, I feel, sometimes I feel like that. <laughs> You're doing that just for the attention. Jenny. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> She's well, okay. you Nobody can, understands me. You'll know that I'm not because he would never give me any attention. <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes I feel kind of misunderstood. You know, I guess it kind of goes along with the same thing Lori said. I think it's weird that we're in a job that an extrovert would be in and we tend to be shy. Because I, I definitely am that way too. I'm opposite of Jeff though. I, he's so good on stage. Lori's, you're great on stage. I feel like I would, I'm gonna die on stage. She's on meds right now. <laughs> I do, I get so nervous. And they're so great at that. So it's kind of nice to have three of us to sort of make up for the other ones. Malfunctions. <laughs> Here, let me, Meredith. Thank you. You're very nice. Well. That looks very cool, by the way. That does look cool. So I've, she's been talking about this thing for years, neat. and I've been dying to have it. This Who is her way of getting it. I know. Yeah. There you go. Who there knew I go. just had to get you guys over to make me That's dinner? Right. <laughs> and I don't room for the turkey, but uh, we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> yeah. no Again, you guys are staying for three days, right? <laughs> When we come back, while they easily find the humor in most things, Meredith, Jeff, and Lori know from experience they have a lot to be thankful for. Obviously, the show is funny. You guys, um, you know, talk a lot about what's going on in your lives, and you've had a lot of things that have gone on in your lives. <laughs> I know. Let's each each one of you, I think, has had some really big things that have happened. <laughs> Oh God, I need more pie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I went through a divorce on the air, which was really hard, but you know, I almost found it a little bit therapeutic coming out on the air and saying that, you know, I'm going through this divorce and it's really hard and I cried and then I made Lori cry and Jeff just went, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that awkward, I don't know what to do oh, moment. It was a very right. awkward moment, but I felt like there's probably a lot of listeners that are going through the same thing. Mm -hmm. And if I can somehow make them feel a little bit like they're not the only one in the world that has this happen to that maybe you know that's a good way to relate to them and and it was I got so many great emails from people saying it's gonna be okay because even when you want a divorce it's hard it stinks I mean you're totally disrupting your lifestyle you're changing everything in your world I mean I was having panic attacks it was horrible and you know my life has changed and it's fine and I'm and I'm happy and I'm I'm in a good place now but I'm just we've right. all had we've all been through something well that's, well that's it show. and of course Jeff you, cancer. Yes. Cancer. That's me. Uh, yeah, that, that was kind of a. My mom. There are a couple of things that happened on air. My, my mom had been diagnosed with lung cancer and she passed away, and that was. I shared a lot about that whole experience on air. And then a couple of years down the road, I managed to get the same thing. Not lung cancer, but came was diagnosed with cancer. Luckily, mine, it's not. It's treatable. You know, everything's good. I'm still going through treatment and everything, but 
when I announced that, it kind of took these two by surprise. I, I can't remember exactly how I did it, but it was. I think you just came out. I just and came said, out, I Hey, have by the way, I have cancer. The potatoes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was something like that. It and was, it was just. But but the thing is, is like I. I know it's a you. You say oh, cancer, and it's an awful thing. And yes, it is. But I mean, I'm I'm going to live a long life, and I'm being treated. So I just I we made jokes about it. It's because I mean the, the way I said it is like if you can't laugh about it, you're going to cry about it. So you know, concentrate on the the fun stuff about it. And believe it or not, there it's fun to kind of joke about it. Maybe not it's every, in everybody's taste. But to me, it helps me deal with it. By, it makes by me uncomfortable yeah, the when they joke a lot. about it, it though. Does. I, I get uncomfortable with that. I don't really. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> they sit and she'll be like, oh, I know you can't do it because you have cancer. Or whatever. I'll be like, oh, my God, what are you talking about? But, and on top of that, but when I did annou announce that, it was amazing to see the amount of support that, uh, that came from the listeners because, you know, kind of like what Meredith was saying, right. there are they're people that you know are there, but when you're talking into a microphone and it's just three of you in a studio, it, it is a whole different situation when they're reaching out to you and saying, hey, best of luck to you, I'm rooting for you, you know, it all will be well. I mean, it's just like the, you almost become part of their lives. I know it sounds so cliche, but you, but you, do. you really do. It's, it's almost like family to some people. Yeah. Oh, I believe that, absolutely. And of course, you had a similar situation. Lots of lots has changed in your life, going from a single gal. <laughs> single gal to a no. wife. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Wait, you got to tell them how you did it, yeah. how you came out in the air. Okay. I did. I came out in the air um, uh, a couple years ago, at, right before I got married, because I thought, geez, if I don't come out in the air, I can't. <laughs> these two are coming to my wedding, and <laughs> I might want to talk about it. <laughs> so um, I, I said, I just have something to say. I'm getting married this weekend, and that alone is a shock. And his name is Jen. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. So there's, Classic. so there's a couple things we got to cover right now. So uh, yes, and you know what? And um, same thing that Jeff was just saying. The the amount of support and and the and the outpouring of comments and things, all positive, by the way. Just a couple of negative things was so amazing. And it truly is. I mean, the listeners out there, they help you. They they got your back. And you guys do a lot in the community. Cans for a cure. Huge. It was the same kind of concept that we were talking about. Like the listeners care about us. But we actually truly care about them, too. And so that's why we do, like, Cans for a Cure for Breast Cancer Awareness Month in October, where we raised, like, over $25,000. and Just this year. Mm -hmm. Just this yeah. year, right. Mm -hmm. I mean, we rely on we rely on them. to. It's sort of like, you know, we're helping them help them help them. You know, everybody gets together, and everybody knows somebody's dealing with cancer, and especially breast cancer. So it's, uh, it's the least we can do. Yeah, to not shower and hang out in an yeah. RV in the main mall parking lot. Exactly, right? <laughs> and eat pie. Mm -hmm. uh, best job in the world, guys? Best? Pretty close? Mm. I don't know. Yours close. is pretty good. Because <laughs> <laughs> I get to eat pie. Yeah, and you don't have to clean up. No, really I, I, seriously, no. I really do think it is, for me anyway, the best job in the world. That and being a game show host. And I got that one too <laughs> now recently. That too. That's right. Shameless plug? A little, little bit. Kickstart. Check it out on WPXT. PXT, I love that station. <laughs> Don't we all? I mean, seriously, where else can you get paid for your opinion, you know, mm -hmm. and, and to be who you are on the air? I mean, it's, it's so much fun. It's just, you know, getting to meet people too that listen to you and... But as long as you can do it, you'll do it, right? Mm. Yeah, as long as they don't change the door code, we're going in. There you go. <laughs> well, cheers that's to that. seriously how it is. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Every person that's been let go, they stop at the door and the code doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> don't forget, we wish them well in their future endeavors. <laughs> While Meredith, Jeff, and Lori don't know what the future holds for now and for as long as they can, they'll continue to get up way too early to laugh, have fun, and keep their listeners guessing. For a fun fact, what is the one thing Meredith, Jeff, and Lori have in common? We'll tell you coming up after the show, but first, he's the executive producer of Animal Planet's hot new show, Northwoods Law. We'll introduce you to Devin Platt, a Mainer 